Question. Question. Can do anything. That's a wonderful. Hey, my God. Ah, Your God. Our God. Our God. Can Your do God. Yeah. He can do anything. Yeah. But he's the greatest of deceivers. Yeah. yeah he, no. No. He, he can do whatever he wishes. So he can deceive if he wants to. Yeah, he can do whatever. He, he can do whatever he wants. He's Allah, the Almighty, the yeah. All Powerful. Yeah. He can deceive. Yeah. Now ask me the same. My God cannot do whatever he wants to. You know why? Why? Because he's holy. Okay. If God is holy, he cannot lie. He cannot deceive. Okay, God, because in a, God doesn't deceive. No. You've just said he does. No, but, but I asked you now. Whatever he wants to do. No, he, no he, I asked uh, you. He's the, great, uh, he's the greatest of all times. He does whatever he wishes. Yeah. So why does he deceive Muhammad in the Battle of Badr? The, 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 deceiver, the deceiver is the shaitan. The deceiver is the shaitan. Yeah, I agree with you. The deceiver is Satan, which means Allah must be Satan. No. I'll prove it to you. No. I'll yes, prove it to you. Yes, 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 yes. I can prove it to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does Satan deceive? Okay. Does Allah deceive? Um, I don't know. Surah 8. God, God, God has his own way. We can't think the way that God thinks. Brother, listen to what you're saying. Our, you our, said, our I don't know. Our mentality doesn't think in the same way that he thinks. I know that. He's, uh, I agree he, with you. Totally but if he reveals, if he reveals. Why you Muslims are not thinking? Why you Muslims are not thinking that Jesus can be can be born? Did, Jesus oh, wait, 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 wait. Did, did, Allah, did Allah give you the Quran? Yes. Has it been changed or is it perfect? It's perfect. It's perfectly preserved, yeah? yeah? Okay. We'll come to that just now. Okay. If the Quran came down to you perfectly preserved, okay. and it's in place, and everything in that Quran is true, okay. then, and you're saying Allah is not a deceiver, or he is a deceiver. What is he? He, he? he does whatever he wants to do. I don't know. Okay. So he can deceive if he wants to. Okay. God, uh, God is, uh, has his own wisdom. Okay. God has his own he wisdom. He does everything for a reason. Okay. Everything that happens to you in life happens for a reason. I, I, so we believe. We believe that God is the, the all uh, merciful, the all mighty, uh, the all great. The all, yeah. Okay. Now, do you have a problem if I say that is God is omniscient, is omnipresent? I don't know. Okay. Those words mean almighty, all powerful. Yeah, he is. All merciful. Yeah. Okay. So, these titles that we give to God and are the same. Them, is your yeah. God holy? Yeah. He's holy. Yeah. Is he all holy? Yeah. He's consuming His Holiness. He, he is the, 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 the greatest of, of all time. Okay. We've gone right off the subject. Okay. Ibrahim, your point was, your God, Allah, the God, can do whatever He wants to do. Exactly. So, He deceived Muhammad at the Battle of Badr in Surah 8, 43 to 44. He Allah, he did. I'll read it to you. I'll read it to you. Tell me if, I, tell me if I'm reading wrong. Where did you get it? What about Surah 4, 157? Surah 4, 157. And for their saying indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him. Okay. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him. And then that indeed, those who differ over it and doubt about it, they have no knowledge of it except the following, the following of... I can't read that. No, and you they, can read it. Can, I, can't, I can't read that word. Oh, and the okay. following of, I think, it's the same as Surah 843, 44. Why, was, why did Allah deceive billions of people, uh, billions of people that, that Jesus because was on? They, because they followed Satan. Aha. Uh -huh. so, so if they are following, no, so Allah no, deceived them no, because they are following because Satan. In Islam, we believe that people are, are divided into two people. Like two, we are divided into two people. People who believe in God and people who believe in, in okay. Satan. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so I'm with you. Uh, Allah, Allah deceived them. Allah deceived the non-believers. Okay. So he, your Allah won't deceive the believers. No. Okay, so he deceived the Christians, yeah. the ones that were following Christ, not no. to believe no, that, no, that, no. that it was Christ no, that no, was on the cross. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, Allah can deceive. You know, he can deceive okay, them. Can, but why did he deceive Muhammad? Can I just tell you something? Why did he deceive Muhammad? There, are, there is always two parts of the story. Two, two, you see it from your point, I see it from my point. And you will never meet that. Uh, yeah, but the why? He asked you why uh, Allah he, deceived Muhammad. They didn't deceive Muhammad. Did okay, he? let me read this to you. Listen carefully to what the okay. Quran says. All right. Surah 8, 43 to 44. Remember, O Muhammad, when Allah showed them into your dream as few, and if He had shown them to you as many, you believers would have lost courage and you would have disputed in the matter of whether to fight. But Allah saved you from that. Indeed, Allah is knowing of that within the breasts. So, so Allah deceived Muhammad. So Muhammad showed them, Allah showed Muhammad in a dream that the people at the Battle of Badr were going to be few in number. When they got there, there were many. Even though they won the battle, Muhammad uh, was deceived in the vision by believing Allah that there were few, but when he got there to the battle, there were many. Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 20, he in the Bible... Deceived. He wasn't deceived. He thought that there were few, but he found out that there were many. Why did he think there were few? 
because he doesn't know what the Quran, Quran says. The Quran says that yeah. Allah revealed it to him in a vision, in a dream, yeah. that they were few in number. So that's how Muhammad knew they were few in number. He went to the battle and Allah even says in the Quran, he says, if I'd showed them to you as many, you would have disputed in the matter and you wouldn't have gone to the battle. So because so God, he was shown in few, God, God tests our belief. No, he doesn't test it. Yeah. He doesn't test it yeah. because if you yeah, look how does. God tests the Jews yeah, in Deuteronomy yeah, chapter 20. Yeah, let me show you. Let me show you what a test we, is. We, we Let's read Deuteronomy we, we chapter we 20. Things in life to test us. I'll read you one verse. I'll read you one verse in the Bible. I'll read you one verse about a battle. That's a deception. Listen to this. God said, speaking to the Jews, when you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God is with you. Now contrast that with what you've just read in the Quran. Before your eyes, you can see that Allah showed Muhammad people few in number. So Allah is the greatest of deceivers. Allah is Makir. God can do whatever no, He wants. Okay, you Why can. Why are you just focusing on that okay. specific point? Because, because if I show you the pattern of deception, okay. if I show you that the Quran has a pattern of deception, that the non-believers are deceived by Allah, and the believers, even Muhammad, is deceived by Allah, you said to me now, only the satanic people, only us Christians and Jews, us apes and pigs, we are the only ones that Allah will deceive. Then why did Allah deceive Muhammad? Why did he deceive all the people, billions of people? Because God tests us. That's not a test. That's a judgment. Life is a test. No, that's a no, judgment. That's a judgment, my friend. 